Back at it again with another EOC video math family. Today we're focused on geometry and angle theorems. And I'm going to show you the four most common ones you'll see to make this a very easy topic. The four angle theorems we're going to review are corresponding angles, alternate interior angles, alternate exterior angles, and vertical angles. So when we go to corresponding angles, we're just saying that, hey, these angles are the same based off the position in the intersection. So angle one and angle five, these would be corresponding angles, right? Because they're in the same position, top left of the intersection. Now let's say if I go to angle two, angle two and angle six, these are also corresponding angles, right? They're in the top right. So we got two of our corresponding angles so far. We go down and we say, hey, angle three and angle seven are also corresponding angles. And then lastly, angle four and angle eight are also going to be corresponding angles. So like I said, based off the position in this intersection, these angles are congruent. Now we get over to alternate exterior angles. And to make it simple, right, these are exterior angles, right? one and two and these bottom two right they face outward there's no other angles outside here and then interior angles would be these four okay and this makes this a lot easier to understand so when we go to alternate exterior angles all we're saying is hey angles on the opposite side of the transversal are equal so angle one and angle eight will be alternate exterior angles they're on the opposite side of this transversal and they're both external angles. So when we go to fill this in, I'll say angle one and angle eight are alternate exterior angles. Then we look at our other two exterior angles, right? Angle two, angle seven, another pair of alternate exterior angles. And once we understand this relationship family, finding every one of these Angle measurements becomes a thousand times easier, I promise you. And then now we're done with that. And then we go with alternate interior angles, which is the same thing, but the inside angles. So one, they're going to be on the opposite side of this transversal. So angle three, angle six, these will be alternate interior angles. So they're going to be the same measure. Same thing with angle four and angle five. These are going to be alternate exterior angles. I'm sorry, interior angles as well. All right, now that we got that, we got one more theorem. And this theorem is just a vertical angles theorem, and not this one you're going to see all the time. And what they're saying is that when we have an intersection, like right here or right here, opposite angles are congruent. They are equal. So when I look up here, vertical angles will be angle one and angle four. See, there's an intersection, and they're opposite of each other. So we have angle one and angle four another vertical pair would be angle two and angle three right then when we go down to the bottom four angles same rule applies so angle seven and angle six are also vertical angles and then my last pair is going to be angle five and angle eight so once you understand all of these this topic becomes 10 times easier and you don't have to do as much work. So now what we're trying to do is we want to find this angle right here. And the best way to do this is to find angle two. And the way we want to find angle two is just remember that when we add angle one and angle two, that's a straight line, meaning it equals 180 degrees. So I have 115 plus X is equal to 180. After I subtract 115 from both sides, I get X is equal to 65 degrees right so remember once we know two angles we don't need to know anything else so i know off rip this is 65 degrees because these are vertical angles and angle four is 115 because what it's a vertical angle from angle one now this is the angle we want to find and we could find this two ways right so what we could do is use the corresponding angles and set angle six equal to its corresponding angle, which is angle two. So what would I do? X plus five is equal to 65. 
Now, once I simplify by subtracting, x is equal to 60 degrees. And once I plug this in and we add, this angle is going to be 65, right? As it should, because it's a corresponding angle here. So we know it's the same measure. Now, before we go, another way that we could have found this angle measure, and I think this is what makes this topic complicated. Students don't know which way to pick. You could do either or. So last one real quick. What do we know? We know that this angle and this angle here are corresponding angles. So this is equal to 115 degrees too. And when I add angle five and angle six, they're supposed to be supplementary, meaning what? 180 degrees. So if I add those two angles, 115 plus x plus five, and this is equal to 180, I could get 120 plus x is equal to 180. And when I simplify by subtracting, I'll get x is equal to 60, which we already found. So either of these two methods could work, math family. Find what works best for you. But like I said, if you know these four angle theorems, this becomes a very simple topic. And with that, we ask you to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, or leave questions or comments down below if you found this video helpful. Thank you guys so much for joining Algebra 1 with Mr. Peters on our EOC test prep series.